Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the mosaic uh, moss stitch. It's extremely easy to do. It's similar to <clears throat> the moss stitch in appearance, I guess, but it does have, uh, it is worked in an uh, overlay mosaic technique. So we never turn our work. We have to clip at the end of every row. So this is the front and there is the back. You can choose to use as many collars as you'd like. I just use scrap yarn for this. But if you know how to double crochet and single crochet, you'll be able to do this. Great for lots of things. All right. So as I mentioned, I'm just going to be using scrap yarn for this particular stitch tutorial. And this stitch is done in any even number of stitches. So you can just chain in any even number. And we are going to start with a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook so we don't count the one that's on our hook so one two the second one over we're going to single crochet and we're going to work one single crochet into every stitch until we get to the end of row one <clears throat> All right, once you make it to the end of the row, since this is a mosaic, we do have to clip our yarn at the end of every row. So we'll just go ahead and chain one, tie off, and we do not turn our work. We just come straight back to the beginning. So rows one and two are just setup rows, and the repeat rows are three and four. They're very, very easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start our yarn in the very first stitch going through both loops. And I'm going to carry this tail along with me as I go. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into that same stitch going through both loops and single crochet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch working in the back loop only. So the first stitch you go through both loops and the last stitch you always go through both loops. All the rows or all the stitches in between, you only go through the back loop only. So I'm going to begin and I'm going to single crochet one time in the back loop only. And I'm going to carry this tail along with me because as with mosaic crochet, usually you have a lot of tails. We're going to sew them all in. We're going to carry along, carry them along with us as we go. So we don't have to sew them in at the end of the row. So I'm working one single crochet in every stitch, but I'm only working in the back loop. So the front loop remains. All right, what you want to do when you're coming to the end of row two and you have, I don't know, five, seven stitches left, something like that. You want to take this tail that you just clipped off and swing it over here. And we're going to, we're going to hide it as we go. So now we're just going to crochet around it that way we don't have any tails to sew in but i'm going to continue working on one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch but i'm going to hide this tail here at the end at the same time and that way it takes care of that and we don't have to worry about it later And sorry if my hands are shaky. You can pull out a little bit. That tail it starts to get in your way. All right, when you make it to the very last stitch, remember the very last stitch, we go through both loops, not just not just the back loop. All right, so I got one more stitch here. I got to go through the back loop of it. All right, and then my last stitch right here, we go through both loops. And then chain one and tie that off. 
So I'm gonna tie that collar off. Remember, we never turn our work, but I am going to flip this over and cut those tails that we hid. As you can see, that tail's gone now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So the rows one and two are the setup rows. Remember, every row starts with going through both loops of the stitch and it ends with going through both loops of the stitch. Now rows three and four are the repeat rows. So they're very, very easy. Remember, do not turn your work. Come back to the beginning and start in the very first stitch. And we always go through, oops, sorry. We always go through both loops of that first stitch. So whatever color of yarn you want to use, this is great for scrap busting. Go through both loops, chain one, and go through the same stitch and single crochet like that. Now we're going to be working into the back loop. So we're going to single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Now what we're going to do is double crochet in the loop from the previous two rows down in that loop that we left unworked. So we're going to yarn over and go down into that one loop down here and double crochet just like that and that's what we're going to repeat all the way to the end so the next stitch will be a single crochet into the back loop and the next stitch will be a double crochet right down here into the loop that we skipped You'll be able to tell really easy because there'll be one loop in between the double crochets that's unworked. That's where the single crochet above did not get worked into. Like that. Single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. And drop down and double crochet into not that loop but this loop right here. single crochet the back loop of the next stitch I'm just going to repeat this till we get near the end and then a double crochet not here but the next one the loop down here that we didn't go into before single crochet back loop of the next and then double crochet in this front loop down here, or the loop that we didn't work in two rows ago, just like that. So you want to go ahead and repeat that pattern until you get near the end. You have I don't know five or six stitches left, and we'll carry the we'll bring this tail over and we'll repeat the pattern, but we're going to hold this tail as we go. All right, I'm nearing the end of row three, so I'm going to take this tail here and I'm going to hide it as I go. So I bring it over here and I'm going to repeat the pattern that I've been repeating but I'm just going to hide that tail. So single crochet in the back loop and then a double crochet in the loop down below. Single crochet back loop and double crochet in the loop down below. We're going to repeat this till we get to the last stitch. Back loop single, double crochet down below. Like that, back loop, single, and then when we get to the last stitch here of our row, we have to go through both loops, not just the back loop. And tie this off, and you can switch to a different color. And we'll go ahead and start row four. So I'm going to clip that. Remember, we do not turn our work. I'm going to clip this tail that we hid. Here we go. Now we're getting rid of all these tails at the end. We don't have any to hide. 
All right, go ahead and bring in the next color and we'll do row four, which is the final repeat row. So we start in the very first stitch again, going through both loops. Chain one, go back into the same stitch and single crochet. Now this time we're going to start with a double crochet right down here in this loop down here from this previous row here. Drop down and double crochet into that. And then we single crochet in the back loop of this double crochet. Again, drop down, see the single crochet here? We drop down to the loop right below it and double crochet. And then we're going to single crochet into the back loop of this double crochet right here. And we're going to repeat this till we get to the end. Next stitch double crochet. Here's the single crochet. We want to double crochet into that one loop that's right below that single from the previous row. And in this double crochet here, we're going to single crochet into the back loop of it. And I'm just going to repeat this. We're doing the same thing that we did on, on the previous row, except for it's just opposite. That way they're kind of catty cornered from each other. Always working in the back loops. Like that. All right, I'm coming to the end of row four. So again, you got five, six stitches left. Bring this tail on the end. Over, we'll crochet it in as we go. So on top of this double, single crochet in the back loop. And this single crochet right here, we're going to double crochet into that loop right below it. And this double crochet here, we're going to single crochet into the back loop. This single crochet right here, we're going to double crochet into that loop right below it. This double crochet we're going to single crochet in the back loop of that and we have two stitches left so the single crochet right here we need to drop down and double crochet into that loop right below it and then as always we are going to end by putting a single crochet <coughs> excuse me through both loops of the last stitch and tie that collar off and that is the repeat rows rows three and four and as you can see we have hidden all our tails as we went along just like that so for row five we will just repeat row three as you can see they are very similar they are just opposite and never turn your work start back into the very first stitch going through both Oops. Chain one, go through both loops and single crochet, always single crochet in the beginning and always single crochet at the end. Now we can see that the next stitch is a double crochet. So that means we got a single crochet in the back loop of that one. And the next stitch is a single crochet, which means we need to double crochet into the loop right below that single crochet. So we're just repeating row three. Whenever there's a double, we single crochet into the back loop of it. Whenever there's a single, we double crochet into the loop, the one loop that's right below it.
It actually works up pretty quick. Color combinations are endless on this. Very, very simple, very easy to row repeat. Like I said, they're both pretty much the same, just kind of catty cornered opposite of each other. I always remember when you come to the end so you don't have a bunch of tails to grab that tail here and start to crochet it in. All right, I'm coming to the end here of row five, which is just the repeat of row three. I'm grabbing this tail here because we don't want a bunch of sew ins. And I'm just going to repeat my pattern as I hide that tail as I go. Pretty easy. You can do it. You got this. Think of all the pretty stuff you can make with this one. Alright. And I've come to my last stitch right here on the end, the single crochet. Make sure you go through both loops on that one. And single crochet. And tie that off. So that's it. We're just going to keep repeating rows two and three. That was a repeat of row three, and you hid that tail as you went. So we don't have any pesky tails at the end as we normally do with mosaic, right? I don't particularly like the tails at the end. And we're just going to repeat this. Remember, always start both loops, your first stitch is a single crochet through both loops and your last stitch is always a single crochet through both loops. The rest of them we just follow the pattern. So you a single crochet here means this next stitch needs to be a double and the loop right below that single. Next stitch is a double which means it needs to be a single the next one needs to be a single and the back loop of that double. Next stitch is a single, so that means it needs to be a double and a loop right below that single. Alright, you just keep repeating this, rows 3 and 4, until you reach your desired length, or depending on what you're making. It will stretch your loops out a bit, but that's okay. They'll go back to normal. Those are pretty colors together, aren't they? And after a while, it starts to look like that. Beautiful. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if, if you did enjoy this, maybe you can leave me a comment below. Um, I really appreciate it. That helps that helps me out. And again, I do apologize for my, sh my shaky hands on this one. But uh, I will see you guys on my next video. Take care. Bye.